Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Wind Waker HD. We got the Fire and Ice Arrows, and did the Ice Icicle Isle and Fire Isle to get the Power Bracelets, which allows us to carry gigantic rocks, even the ones we had to blow up before, and the Iron Boots, which allows us to get walk around without being pushed by the wind, I guess. And also possibly make us heavy uh, for certain things, so that'll be useful. But now that we have the those two things let's head over this way and I might actually check what this fish has to say as well since we have new stuff I guess so let's do that since we haven't actually got the info for this island yet I'm pretty sure I might be wrong but I I'm gonna check anyway so boy small fry Maybe it just draws in the sea chart every time. That's probably what it does, which is weird. But alright. I heard that beneath the big boulder, head boulder, on top of that hill out here on outset, is where the greatest treasures of all the golden triumph forks are buried. But actually, Fry, I must have misheard or something. Because the only... this. This one guy told me that uh, what was actually buried beneath that weird rock was some shard of something called a Triforce. Whoever had heard of that? That's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. <laughs> Triumph Forks. Oh no. I mean, I think someone's intentionally buried something misleading there. That's all the info has to offer. Okay. Well, we need to keep that in mind because there's a piece of Triforce there that we need to get. Piece of trifle shard. Uh, but anyway, now that we're back at outset and we have the power bracelets, there is something we can do here. So let's head on up this way. It's kind of weird to be back here, but anyway. Let's head up this path because look at this pig. <laughs> look at this gigantic pig. Oh, Link, you made it back. Say, Link, do you remember the day you first caught this oinker and brought him over here? This is the same one. I mean, there were three, but what happened, what happened to the other two? Anyway, just look at that thing. Isn't he a lot bigger now than he, the last time you saw him? And not just bigger, he's a lot heavier too. Say, Link, is there any way you could pick him up and take him for a walk for me? I'd really appreciate it. My back is just killing me. Okay, I'll take it for a walk. Urgh. We need to take this to a specific spot. We also need to have... Uh, hang on. We also need to have bait on us, so... Let's do that. Ah, wrong one. Wrong one. Ah, please. Pressing buttons has never been scarier. Just gonna throw them off the edge there. We can only pick up this pig if we have the power bracelet, so... That's why I haven't done it until now. Oh my goodness. This is a little bit slow, but also this is kind of useful. Ugh. 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 Oh my goodness. This thing is so big and heavy. We have the power bracelet. We could probably, like, oh my goodness. <laughs> this thing is as heavy as a gigantic boulder. Oh my gosh. Anyway, we've made it to this side, and now we need to go over to this mud question mark over here, or this dirt patch. Just gonna throw them over there. And if we throw some bait on the ground here, maybe, maybe on, maybe more in the center? I don't know. If we throw some bait over here... ...in the middle... ...it actually dig into the ground... ...and give us a piece of heart. Also, how does the pig that big just... ...bury itself in the ground? Anyway... Okay, a fourth heart piece and now we have a heart container. I'm gonna leave the pig to do whatever it wants. 
But first I have to get my revenge on it, so let's just go over to the water over here real quick and throw it in. Oh, that works. <laughs> that pig's a good swimmer, considering how heavy it is. Anyway, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to just quickly check that that guy up there isn't looking at something. He might be. If he is, there might be a big octo I can get. I have to check. I have to. I'm not going to do the, uh... The hole underneath the giant head that was mentioned by the fish, because that is difficult. And I need a lot more pre preparation before I can actually do that. So... Okay, what are you looking at? Is there a thing? Or are you just looking at the big head, aren't you? Yeah, you talk about the rock, rock head. Okay. Okay. Well, anyway, let's move on then. And I can't really think of anything pressing that we need to do, so I guess we can actually head to the next major point in the story. So, let's do that. Uh, let's go to Windfall Island to get there. Going to the north. For the next dungeon. Ah! Link must feel really sick right now. Also, I guess one other quick thing I can do. Uh, no, I'll hold off. I mean, I just saw what it is, but also I, I, I won't... I guess I can point it out later. Anyway, let's just turn as best as I possibly can, apparently. And let's head on this way. Because this is where our next dungeon is, that big, big-ish island over there. <laughs> I hope this is the correct one. Actually, I think it might be the wrong one. I want to... I might want to double check. I think... I think this is the wrong one. I think this is the wrong one. Hang on. Yeah, this is the wrong one. <laughs> I'm... I need to actually be at the bottom of the map. That's the one I wanted to do first. Oh well. Back to outset. Of course, I was right next to it when I left. Ah. Oh well. We'll come back to that one later. <laughs> I just... I, I have a specific order that I want to do it in, and I... Bad. <laughs> anyway. Let's head on over to the... East. To this island. <laughs> I really hope I haven't f memorized it opposite again. Opposite, opposite, because that'd be bad. I'm pretty sure this is the one I was trying to aim for, though. So let's do that, then. It's so nice to be able to sail this quickly, though. Oh, is that a submarine? I kind of want to do the submarine. Just quickly. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. See what enemies we can find inside. Oh no. Oh no. Bomb, bomb, pff, rats. Everywhere. Oh my gosh, explosions. Also rupees on the ground. That was going to attract more rats. Oh my gosh, rat. 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 Just have to take out enough of these rats. And then we can hopefully not die. Also, stabbing the bombs on the ground is going to activate them. Okay, I think there's a few left. Oh, red rupee. I'm going to grab that. Okay, let me do that, apparently. I was trying to switch arrow, which I can do. Oh, switch back to regular. There we go. Because shooting them with the arrows is probably going to be more effective. You can also pick up arrows that are on the ground. That you've already shot. So, that's useful. Okay. Chaos is gone now. Everything's fine again. Let's see what's in this tre treasure chest. I don't imagine this is going to be anything that special, though. 
But still, rupees would be helpful, sir. Treasure chart, okay. Let's see what that's for. Um, treasure chart 14. Okay. Tower of the Gods. Have to go there at some point for that, but not right now. Let's... Oh, I guess I'll do it fairly soon, but yeah, still. Just do it on my way to the next thing. Now, where's my boat? There. Okay. Back on track. Finally. Took me long enough. And let's get this... Fish. Boy, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information. Yes, I do. Headstone Island. Small fry, there's a real heavy stone, her head, blocking a cave on the island. Don't you wonder what's behind it? Don't you want to get in there? Heh <laughs> Let me tell you a great secret. If you go north four squares, east three squares, to Fire Mountain, you'll find an item that gives you the strength to easily lift anything, no matter how heavy it is. With that thing, you could lift that stone and toss it out of your way, as if it were lighter, light as a feather. Cool. Well, it's a good thing we already did that, so. Because I know exactly what I'm doing. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> Considering I got where I wanted to go mixed up, so, uh... Anyway, let's just hop in here. And I think we can also, if I'm not mistaken, shoot the the crabs to get rupees, which is weird. Anyway, let's go in here by lifting up this head statue and just tossing it to make it explode for some reason. There appear to be markings that indicate specific directions. Holding to the right, we can conduct in 6-4 to copy this rhythm. You learned the, er learned the Earth God's Lyric. O great hero chosen by the Master Sword. My name is Lor Lor Laruto. I am a Zora Sage for an age. I offered my prayers here in the Earth Temple, praying that pow power to repel evil would rema ever remain within the Master Sword. And yet, unfortunately, due to Ganondorf's evil designs, the Master Sword you hold has lost its power. After his defeat at the hands of the Hero of Time, Ganondorf was sealed away, but not for all time. He was revived, and he returned to Hyrule in a red wrath. He attacked this temple and stole my soul, knowing that he had to remove the power contained in that enchanted blade. In order to return the power to repel evil to your sword, you must find another to take my stead in this temple and ask the gods for their assistance. You must find the one who carries on my bloodline, the one who holds this sacred instrument. Nothing can stop the flow of time, or the passing of generations, but the fate carried within my bloodline endures the ravages of all the years it survives. The song you just conducted is one that will open the eyes of the new sage and awaken within that sage the melody that will carry our prayers to the gods. The door that blocks your way will only open when the sage plays that song. May the winds of fortune blow with you.
so we can't do anything here at the moment, and we need to find somebody with that instrument. Which we've already seen before. So let's go we'll do that, but first I have to do a few other things as well. Since we're going to be going around anyway, I might as well go pick up that treasure at the Tower of the Gods, so let's go do that. Okay, let's go this way, which I'm pretty sure is leading to it. Where's the glowing spot? Ah, uh, there. Just gonna go slow. And salvage, please. Got it. I like the way that the sunken treasure chests look as well. It's really cool. Silver rupee, worth a whopping 200 rupees. Okay. Let's also go to... Uh, Dragon Roost. There's also a cave up that was mentioned by the fish at Dragon Roost that I want to try and probably check as well. Except I'm not sure how well I can do that at the moment. I might need to come back to that later, possibly. But that's okay. There's actually a few caves here on this island that I haven't checked. But anyway, let's head on up this way. And actually, already we can actually hear the instrument that we're supposed to be finding. Which is interesting. But obviously it's there so that you get pulled in to realizing that this is where you need to be. Now, how many golden feathers do I have? Just as a side note, I have 13. Still need seven more. What is this? This is madness. But anyway, we need to not fall down because that is just weird and wrong and, and, and completely my fault. But anyway, let's go out this way. And I think we're going to need the grappling hook. Ah. Ah, navigating menu. I know what I'm doing. But anyway, let's just swing across here. And let's head on up this ladder. Oh, Link, you're okay. You know, Prince Kamali has been asking me all about your adventures, Link. I can rest easy now that I've seen your, you safe and sound with my own eyes. Prince Kamali has turned into a fine young adult, hasn't he? Recently, he's begun, even begun doing things on his own, without my guidance. Every conversation still ends up centered on you, though, Link. Watching Prince Kamali grow up fills me with pride, but it makes me a little sad as well. I wonder if this is how a mother feels. Oh, but just listen to me go on. How weird I must sound. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I'd better continue practicing so that I can be useful around here too. Performing new music uh, like this is an important duty of an attendant. Hey, is that the Wind Waker? Wow. Link, will you conduct me? I wonder how I'll do. I can't remember the song, it's fine. Hmm, what a mysterious song. It sounds so familiar. It's almost as if Something I've forgotten is trying to be remembered. Oh, I feel...
Just now, a sage spoke to me. She spoke so gently. There's something, something that I must do. Link. Thanks to you, I've been awakened to the knowledge that I am a sage of the Earth Temple. There's actually something that I can do to help this world. It's incredible. I bet my teacher knew all about this. Link, please. You must take me to the Earth Temple. And we must hurry and make the power to repel evil that sleeps within the Master Sword. To wake. Let's go now. Quickly and quietly. Oh, Kamali. I just want to hear him remember me as a simple attendant. And so we have Medley on our boat now, so that we can head to the Earth Temple. This also explains why... Medley is wearing the, uh, on her clothes it has the Zora Sapphire symbol on it, which is also on the Nauru's pearl? I think it's Nauru. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, Medley is the Sage of the Earth Temple, which sadly means that she has to go there and can't be with her people on Dragon Roost anymore. Meaning she can't see Kamali grow up anymore. It's kind of sad. But also kind of important. Okay, let's head on over there. It's also interesting that this means that the Rito came from the Zoras. Because the sage in the Earth Temple that lost her soul is a Zora. Which we haven't seen any Zoras in this world, which is interesting. But I guess they're fresh water and this is sea water? Salt water? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's my only explanation. But I mean, that doesn't explain Majora's Mask then. <laughs> oh well. Medley, listen carefully to what I am about to tell you. The temple ahead is the, the nest of an evil creature, the same creature that stole the life of your predecessor. The sage, uh, it, it is predecessor the sage. It is a dark and frightening place. That is why, if you do nothing else, then at least do this. If Link comes near you and presses ZR to call you, then be silent and follow him closely behind him. And if Link presses A, allow him to lift you. And if need be, fly and carry him through the air. And Link. If Medley gets stuck and cannot continue in the temple, use the Wind Waker to conduct the song you learned in the Tower of the Gods. Do you understand? Link, protect Medley. And Medley, protect Link. The power to repel evil shall surely be returned to the Master Sword.
Okay. We've made it to the Earth Temple. We can leave whenever we want, but we have to leave Medley here, of course. Probably. Uh, but we're gonna go through it now. We can carry Medley on with us, which is helpful. We can also use ZR to, or, what's it called? Yeah, ZR to call her so that she follows us, us similarly to the statues in the Tower of the Gods. Uh, we also need to go through the dungeon while carrying her through, so... We need to make sure that we look after her. Which means probably not sending her into enemy territory at full speed, probably. Probably a good plan. But anyway, uh, let me grab that real quick. Hey, is that a second skull necklace from that guy? I think it is. That's kind of weird, but anyway. Let's just... Jump over here with Medley so that we might be able to fly across, maybe? Wow, that was close. Anyway. Let me just stand on the switch. But that's not enough to open the door down there, so let's use the... The command med medley. Med medley. Ah! Melody. To control medley. It's gonna get super confusing in a second here. Ah, <laughs> uh, and as medley, we can actually walk around. We can press CR to go back to controlling Link. Ah, uh, but we can also press the A button to fly, and we have a little fly meter, so we can actually... Go across over here to the other switch. And press that down. So there we go. The door's gonna stay open now, so let's just put Medley down there. And go back. Now I might take out the other two... Moblins in the room. Just to get some more... Stuff from them. Skull necklaces. Also, I think these are actually... Uh, different... This is a different type of... Moblin. Because he... He's purple. So he's probably got more health than the blue ones. So that's important to keep in mind. Now let's hit that. No second skull necklace. So that was, maybe I missed with the first one. I don't know. But anyway. Let's keep going. I don't know if Medley can follow me through doors on her own or not. Anyway. Let me just put you down there, and let me see if I can take out these shoes. Which is fairly easy to do with the bow and arrow. Just by default. Ah, uh, but we have these purple shoes, dark shoes, I don't know what to call them. There wasn't any tutorial thing, I don't think, in this game to tell you what enemy names are. But anyway, we can't take them out easily, so we actually actually do things a little bit differently. Because, if we get them into the light, or reflect the light off of Medley's instrument, they turn to stone, oh my goodness, and then we can throw them on the ground to break them. Which we can also use the command melody to command, uh, control Medley's, uh... Medley's instrument, like... Link's shield, basically. So let's just... Uh, press A to do that, and we can do that with it, so... Let me quickly get rid of that enemy as quickly as possible. Please, as quickly as possible, as quickly as possible, as quickly as possible. Okay, there we go. That's all the enemies, all the choose. And the, the, the purple ones slash dark ones do actually put themselves back... Or, or return back to normal after a little bit, so... We can also use the fire arrows to burn all these things on the walls, but I don't think we need to at all, so. It's just interesting that you can. Oh, hey, Joy Pendant. Can I get that, actually? That would actually be very nice to get. Uh, boomerang. We don't need the iron boots in here, which is nice. Let's grab that. We can also use the fire arrows to open up this pot. So that's quite useful. But before we move on, let's use the command melody one more time. Because there's an outline of a chest here that we can kind of see. And if we are in the light over here and aim the light at the chest... ...it becomes visible. And also if we return while Medley's using her instrument as a, a mirror, basically... It, ...she will stay in that position, so that's also 
something else that we can use to our advantage. We got the dungeon map. Very nice. Well, come on, Medley. Let's see if you can follow me through the store, right? Maybe? <laughs> nope, I think she's still there. She goes back to the last door she goes through if you go through a door without carrying her. I wish she would just follow me, though. Also, these uh, statues in the side of the room here can also be broken using the light. But anyway, now that we are here, I think that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.